So let's talk about the most important things to know about branding and colors. Just the very top line. People see color before they see anything else. The use of color is a studied science. Now that's a quote from colorcom.com. That's a consulting firm that helps sellers use color to influence buyers. But it's a very profound statement. People see color before they see anything else. The use of color is a studied science. That means that every time you see a McDonald's advertisement, they have put science into figuring out how to color this. They may call it the Golden Arches, but most of the time a message from McDonald's is actually a blast of red. That means that when Hertz rental car bathes you in a yellow glow, somebody thought long and hard about why that color was the best one. And if you consider investing with Ameritrade, they're going to uh, douse you in a sea of green ink. Sometimes it seems that the more sophisticated the company is, the more they double down, triple down, quadruple down on a single color that they have chosen to um, associate with their uh, identity. Now, in practical terms, that means for your organization and for your brand, your colors are too important to just rely on the system fonts. Here's some system colors from Apple. Here are some system colors from Microsoft. Here are some system default colors from Google. These are all fine colors, but your colors that you use in your identity are so important that you can't just let Microsoft pick it for you. You should pick those for yourself or somebody should pick colors just for your organization. And the colors are too important generally to leave to individual designers project by project. Even if this designer right here does a good job picking colors for the project, the next designer that comes along are going to um, uh, pick a different set of colors. And then the continuity of the colors is lost. That's why the National Park Service says that the graphic identity is expressed in a set of preferred colors, a set of preferred colors. The National Park Service, like other well-branded organizations, has a handful of colors that it uses over and over and over again. Well-branded organizations document their color preferences and they require that the staff and vendors use those colors. It's not just suggested, it's required. So here is the brand toolkit from UNICEF. We'll explore how they make the colors available and require them. And you start browsing through that brand toolkit and eventually you're gonna find this page right here that spells out the five colors that they want you to use when you're using color. Black, dark blue, yellow, magenta, and cyan. Here's the brand book for Pencils of Promise. Start paging through that brand book. You're going to find their preferred colors, white, black, dark gray, light gray, and pop orange. Pencils of Promise Orange. This OCDC, that's the Oregon Child Development Coalition, the document is called the Brand Book Visual and Communication Guidelines. Dive in there and here are their colors. They've got them organized into two primary colors and three secondary colors. And they suggest how often you use each color. A set of preferred colors, which all these organizations have documented and provided to uh, their staff provided to any graphic designers who are going to be working on materials that need to reflect the brand of that organization. And these organizations are very specific about their preferred colors. So take a look at this one from this brand book. They call it 
OCDC logo orange and OCDC blue. Well, they just made up those colors. Nobody but them knows that that's this orange or this blue. And you look through that uh, brand book and then you find that they have very specific information. They have an RGB code, a CMYK code, a PMS code, and a hex code. That's four different codes that all mean the same thing. They mean this orange right here. And here they have them again for the blue, RGB, CMYK, PMS, and hex. Those are very specific codes. Pencils of Promises calls this color pop orange. They're the only people who call that color this. But graphic designers are going to recognize that color by the specific hex code or the RGB code or the CMYK code. UNICEF lays out theirs slightly different, but the information is the same. You can see the color that they want. Then you can see the codes for CMYK, RGB, HEX, Video Direct RGB, and Print Pantone. Now all these codes specify the same color in the different color systems, and we'll spend a little more time on color systems later. So let's get practical. If I'm working on this Google Doc right here for the Oregon Child Development Council and I want to put some color in it, they want me to put these colors in it. And in practical terms, that means, let's just say I'm going to take this headline and add some color, that these default Google colors are not good enough. They want to see their colors. So I have to check my option for custom colors. Program in the code. That they gave me and there now I'm using the same blue color in my Google Doc that they gave me in the brand brief so now let's imagine I'm working on the title of a PowerPoint for the pencils of promise I've got a title and a subtitle and I want to know what colors those are going to be I can look into the brand book and I can see here that they say dark gray for bold titles and light gray for subtitles so just need to get these colors here to match the colors in the brand book it's not one of these standard grays that they want me to use they've got a very specific gray that they want me to use so I've got to um, go in here and program that up using RGB slider. So it says RGB 888888. Okay, so... Maybe if I just type it, that'll be easier. There you go. That's, that'll do it. So now this gray here matches this gray here. We'll do it again for this gray down here. Go to the custom colors. And in this case, oh, 137, 137, 137 is what we're supposed to do. Okay, so it happens to be correct. So now the colors on the title slide of my PowerPoint match the colors from the band beef. So now let's imagine I'm working on a spreadsheet for UNICEF. Here's the year 2016, 2015, 2014, 2013. Donations in various categories, total donations down below. Over here is the UNICEF brand book with the colors, which I have uh, put on my screen so I can do both of them at the same time. Now let's make this um, easier to read, shall we? First, I'm going to darken up the top bar here. I'm going to pick this dark blue as the color. Not one of the default colors. It'll be one of their custom colors. Set that text to white. No one ever begrudged you white. Now the top bar of my data matches the color from the brand book. Let's get this number down here. That's the uh, total donations per year. I'm going to make that one yellow. Not this yellow. A yellow from the brand book. All right, that's much improved. 
And now let's just make this column right here that uh, lighter blue. Make that white, and so there you have it. Now we have a spreadsheet that we have branded up in the company colors using the brand brief. That's what they're expecting you're going to do. That's what they want you to do with the brand brief, the brand book, and the colors that they pick for you.